Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the 15th through the 31st of August, but keep in mind the timing is fluid. This may resonate the day you watch it or it may not because this is a preview, okay? So a lot of people, they think that the day they watch it, they, they watch it and they go, oh, that doesn't resonate. Well, these are previews. It may or may not resonate on the day. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for, you know, from the day you watch it to the end of August or the 15th to the end of August. Okay, let's just see what comes up. What do we got for Aries? I feel like you guys are tired. You're tired. You may feel like life has taken you for a ride. Okay, it feels as though life's challenges are a bit much. You may be close to giving up. You may feel like you deserve something else. You deserve. Why? Why did this happen? Why is this? Why is it like this? You know, that kind of energy. The challenges that you have faced have made you into the person that you are. They have built your character. Everything happens for a reason. And even though these challenges have been tough, and even though not everybody does things the way that you would like them to do them, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. Okay, it doesn't mean that they don't respect you. They may just see things differently than you see them. They, they're not you. So I feel like there's a feeling of frustration over people's viewpoints, people's ways, the way they do things. You know, it's not proper. Who's to say what is proper? Your proper may not be somebody else's proper. And the reason I'm saying this is because I did, I had like a little vision before I did this video of the Nine of Wands reversed. This is life challenges. And the, the challenges that you have been through have been insurmountable already. They have been. And I can, and I, and when you get the Nine of Wands reversed, and I don't need the car. I see it. Okay. I see it. You, you're, you've been wounded by other people's reactions, other people's opinions, other people's ways of doing things. And it's challenging to accept. It's challenging to accept, you know, the differences. But that doesn't make you any less of a person or make you wrong or make the other person wrong. I don't know where that's coming from, but we're going to get started. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Aries. My eyes were closed that whole time. It's about accepting another person for who they are. And not holding a grudge because they don't do things your way. I don't know where that is coming from. Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got for Aries. Aries. What do we got for Aries? Ooh, the lover's card. This is fantastic. This is unexpected. Expect the unexpected. You may have a new contract that is starting. Um, this is this is somebody that may not be your usual type. This could this person um may not fit your usual circumstances. It's funny that that came out. Interesting. Interesting because this person is not your usual. This person is not your usual. So you may have an opportunity to come into union with somebody that is not your usual type. Could happen very, very unexpectedly. Um, now you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice as to whether, you know, you can overlook the differences because there's an opportunity for a contract here that it could bring you a lot of joy. It could bring you a lot of happiness. It could bring fun into your life. I think this is something that is meant to happen, but you're going to need to uh, reevaluate your standards, perhaps. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have standards, but, you know, 
People are different for a reason. They can help you grow. And we talked about growth. And you see the growth. People's differences can help you grow. So I've started this new thing where I close my eyes and give a message. And so that's what just happened at the beginning. Um, so we have an opportunity for love here. But this is, this is unusual. This isn't what you expect. It's this person is not what you expect. They're completely different. Okay. Um, could lead to a commitment. This could help you to heal. Okay. Could help you. To, this person could help you to heal. This is also a card of consequences. There's, so there's consequences for the decisions that you make. If you choose to be set in your ways... Well, then you could lose out on a love connection. You know, you got to be open-minded here. Contract. We definitely have a contract here. These are both contracts. So I think, and, and decision. Decision is big here. So at the end of the month, you're going to have to make a decision. And you should do it with your eyes closed. Okay? Like I just did this. Remember what I just said? I've been doing things with my eyes closed. I And I don't, I mean... I don't even know what Aries is in my chart, put it that way. So, I know I have Chiron in Aries, but other than that, I don't know where it is. I'm mostly Earth and Air. So anyway, you need to do this with your eyes closed. Make a decision based on your intuition, on your gut, on your feelings. Don't do it with what you see on the outside or what you perceive, you know. Use your gut. Use your intuition. So yes, you're going to be making a decision, a very prominent decision about some sort of contract at the end of this month. My advice is to close your eyes and get the answer that is what your gut wants. Okay? Don't look at it with your eyes. Or your previous conceptions, you know, your misconceptions, perhaps. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody very, very nicely. But this person is not who you think it is. It's not who you expect. It's nothing like anybody that you expected. They're unusual to you, okay? It's unusual. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So if you're worried about attraction, don't be. You will be attracted to this person. There will be some sort of pull, whether it is a physical pull or a magnetic pull or a vibrational pull. Okay, there's going to be some sort of pull towards this person. Absolutely there is. Aries, end of the month, end of August. I guess we'll take this one, these two. Ooh, yikes. Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Take a look at that. There's a lot of fear here. A lot of fear. Look at that fear. Oh my God, Aries. I think you're in protection mode. I think that you've been overpowered. Maybe you're feeling like you're overpowered. Maybe you're feeling like you've been defeated. Maybe you feel like it's the end. You may you may feel like it's the end. You may feel like you're up against the world. You know, um, the world is against you. You may feel like that. You may feel like you're fighting a losing battle. And maybe you, you know, that that's thought. Okay, that is a thought. Swords are thoughts. This is overwhelmed. So you are overwhelmed with burden. I think that you are very burdened by. The need to protect yourself in some way. Um, you're feeling alone. You probably are feeling very alone. Um, Ace of Rods. So you do have a new beginning here. A new passionate beginning. Five of Rods. We have conflict here. We have conflict. We have tension. There could be even a fight. Okay. There could be a competition. You may be competing with people. Life is not, I mean, it is, right? Life is about competition, but you don't need to engage. You don't need to engage. We definitely have a competition here. We have a new exciting opportunity. Six of Cups. 
the lovers again. So we definitely have an unexpected opportunity for love. Could be with a Gemini. Could be. Um, this is this could lead you got you you could meet somebody suddenly. This could, the Ace of Wands is suddenly a sudden match, and this is a match. So you could meet your match or come into contact with your match. But I have to tell you, this person is unusual to you. They may feel foreign. The Hermit reversed. Don't reject them because they're different. Um, King of Pentacles reversed. The Empress reversed. The Hangman reversed. So confusion. Stubborn. We got somebody here that is very, very, very stubborn. And uh, we have death on the bottom of the deck, just so you know. Um, so something needs to end. You're holding on to something and it needs to end. Your challenge is the memories. You've got a lot of memories. And I think the memories are of the power struggles that you have endured. This is the memories. And that's your challenge. You know, I think that you're doing a lot of reminiscing about the previous hurt that you have been in. You know, the previous belittling you have been through or the previous power struggles and conflict, the traps. You know, I think that you are very much challenged by the memories of the previous betrayal. I think that you have been betrayed. I think you're thinking about... You know, whether you have betrayed or somebody has been be be betraying, betrayed you, this is overwhelmed with feelings because cups are feelings, memories of the past. I feel that you guys are being really weighed down You're, oh, about, you know, everything that has happened. Um, there could be a loss of, of money. You could be really burying yourself in your work. Really, really burying yourself in your work. Over, you know, taking on too much responsibility to hide your pain, to cover up your pain, um, to prove that you're just fine. You know, I'm, I'm good. It's like that. This is my fight song. I'm good. I'm going to prove that I'm, I'm good. You know, but I feel like there's really nothing left to prove here. I think you've been trying to prove yourself for a really long time. And at this point, you know, you need to stop competing. It's a, it, you know, in order for you to be happy, you need to take care of yourself and not compete all the time. You don't need to compete. Life shouldn't really be a competition. Let the other people compete if they want to compete. You don't need to engage. I'm just being honest with you. Anyhow, um, over here in your external environment, we have this Empress reversed. This is a lack of tender loving care. Somebody that is smothering. Somebody that doesn't take very good care of another person. This person is selfish. This person could have an ego. This person um, is not very abundant or she's overly abundant. She's selfish. She's selfish. We Or he. I think this is a she. But I was just looking at this. We have some selfishness here. We do have some selfishness here. So... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let go of that pride. You gotta let go of that ego and the need to prove. Okay, you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. Or you don't. So this is enlightenment, and this is enlightenment. It was so. Your approach is to deal with some sort. This is facing a struggle. Is to face this struggle. Stop being so stubborn. Stop being so... Look at how ugly this guy looks. He is so... This is your approach. Your power. This is the hangman. This is somebody who is stubborn as hell. Trying to prove a point. This is your martyr. Okay? This is a martyr. This is sacrifice. Limiting yourself. It's time to let go. Somebody has been resisting change. It's time to let go of your old perspectives. And see things differently. It's like... You're not receiving the tender loving care that you deserve because you're unwilling to budge. You're unwilling to make any changes. It's, you're right, and that's the way it goes. And, I'm, and, I, and I happen to love Aries, okay, just so you know. Anyhow, um, right here, hopes and fears, fear of rejection. 
You may be you may be fearful that you will be rejected. This is rejection. The hermit reversed. Fear of growing old alone. Fear of being alone. Fear of loneliness. Um, midlife crisis. Somebody may be going through a midlife crisis. And they may be going through this midlife crisis because it's a constant need to compete. A constant need to prove anyway Aries I feel as though you have a new opportunity this is a new exciting opportunity for love but you may have to release some of your responsibilities you may have to give time to love maybe you you aren't nurturing or you don't have time to nurture a love connection because you're working too much right maybe that's a self-protection tactic a subconscious self-protection tactic because I feel like you guys have been really really hurt and you're you're you just are really afraid I feel like you're really really afraid of being rejected you're afraid of getting yourself into anything where you will be you know ghosted or you will be thrown into some sort of competition with another person what if what if I get myself into a third party situation you know what I mean I really feel as though you guys are really struggling to win. It's like you just want to win. And I, everybody wants to win, right? You want to win. But sometimes the need to win can be... It can limit you from success. It can, it can be daunting. Maybe you should just love yourself for who you are. Anyhow, I don't know where that message is coming from. But there's loneliness here. There's loneliness. I can see it. Feeling very, I saw it up here too. Very Feeling very alone. Um, in the near future, there's, there's probably going to be some sort of competition in the very near future. You may, you may need to compete for somebody that... Needs you, okay? This could be this could be a mother. This could be the mother of your children. There, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um, there's some sort. There's two men competing here. So there could be. If you are the if you are the Aries woman, you could have two men competing for your attention. But we got this one right here, doesn't know her value. The Empress in Reverse is a person that doesn't know her value. She chases. She chases. She plays. This is somebody who is very upset. We got somebody here who is upset over not being taken care of. And we have a very stubborn energy here. Very, very stubborn. So we have somebody here that is very much stubbornly holding on to something that really isn't secure to them. It's not stable. And it's time to let go. It's time to let go. It's time to take care of yourself. Know your value. Know your worth. Love yourself. Nurture yourself. Let somebody love you. Stop competing with the Joneses. Stop competing with your competitors. Just do you. Just do you. Anyhow, Aries, I feel as though this month you are going to have a new opportunity. And I think this opportunity is going to bring you somebody unexpected into your life. This person is not... You know, I feel like their looks at this point in their life doesn't... And I, I don't know why I feel like it's looks. But I think their vibration matches yours. I think... Because I do. I think it's their vibration matches. I think their energy matches. But I feel like their looks are a little off. 
And I think there's an opportunity to, to have a contract with somebody that you are meant to work with. This is somebody that you are meant to You're meant to deal with this person, and that is a message from myself. I feel like you guys are, are kind of avoiding challenge, and I think this challenge has to do with change. You know, um, this could be somebody from your past, it could be somebody that from your way, 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 way past. That's what I see. I don't think it's somebody from your recent past, it could be even somebody from a past life. I feel like this is some, it could be somebody from a past life. Okay, I feel like. You need to be, you need to take an, on a new perspective and you need to look at this from a vibrational standpoint rather than through your eye your eyes, okay? And that's just a message that you need to hear. I feel like there is probably going to be two people competing for you, whether you are male or female. I just feel like there's going to be two people competing for you. I feel like, and you are going to have to make a choice, obviously. You're going to have to make a decision. Um, which way do you want to go? I think one of these people is very selfish. One of these people is very um, smothering. And they don't really have a lot of anything to offer you. Okay, they don't. This person is <laughs> very selfish. Um... I'm trying to think of the word for it. This person is greedy and I don't, I can just feel it. This person is, uh, not a good person. Okay. My ear's ringing. So that's a yes. Um, my right ear. So anyway, so I think we got somebody here that is very selfish and we also have somebody that you are meant to be with. This person is the one from your past. And it doesn't mean that it's your last ex or the ex before that. So get that shit out of your head. Because I don't think that's what it is. I think this is somebody that you were in a past life with. And I, I don't say that very often. Past life contract. So I feel like there's an opportunity for you to have a passionate new beginning with somebody. They And this is a life lesson, okay? This is a karmic lesson of some sort. And I feel like you ha are going to be faced with a choice, you know, based on vibration, based on feelings, based on the magnetic attraction, not the physical attraction. I feel like you're going to have to make a choice between two people. And it's time for you to stop resisting change and to have a new outlook. Okay. Um, somebody has been holding on to a dead end and it's time to let go. It's time for your new life. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to release. It's time of time of transformation. It's time to make a change. It's time to start a new contract, but you don't want to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. And the only way that you will not repeat those mistakes is to, is to get I mean, you can't keep doing things the same way that you've been doing them. And I'm not saying this because I don't like Aries because I love Aries. As a matter of fact, my mother and my father are both Aries. So, we have somebody here that has a new opportunity for love. It's not who you think it is. This is an exciting opportunity to step out of this rat race and start over. Good luck.